My name is Carl Vinton Williams. Before I get started, I would like to have a moment of silence for one of our fallen brothers, Mr. Sheldon Dix Jr. He was one of our brothers who was with us in points of just position, and he had passed on. So we could just have a moment of silence, please. Good evening. Once again, my name is Carl Williams. I'm a graduate here from Delaware State University. I taught art in Women's in Delaware uh, for over 30 some years. But I got that handed to certain um, people who was, came in my life. In 1965, I went to um, Byron Middle School and I met a young lady, Afro-American lady, her name was Anna Costley. Anna Costley uh, introduced me to Mr. Percy Ricks. Mr. Ricks, he was working at Byron Middle School as well. When she saw my artwork, the drawings of it, she took me over to Mr. Ricks's um, class. And that's where it all started for me in Mr. Percy Richards' class. I excelled in his class after graduating from Byron Middle School. Mr. Ricks wanted to talk to my parents, Frank and Bessie Williams. He would like, he wanted me to go over to um, Howard High School to further my education in art, which he gave me a scholarship. Howard High School was out of my district then. My district was Wounded High School, but they allowed for me, the school district allowed for me to go over to um, Howard High School under the direction of Robert Moore and Simi Knox. And that was in 1968. And at that time in 1968 is where I studied under Robert Moore and um, Mr. Simi Knox. That was the same year that Martha Luther King got shot and killed. After that, Mr. Robert Moore came to me the next day and told me that he would be leaving. And it kind of upset me. He did not know what school he was going to. And I found out later that he was over at PS High School. Well, no reason for me to stay at um, Howard High School, but even Simi Knox had left as well. So I went back to um, Women High School, which was in my district. Then I found out when I found out that they were over at PS High School, I tried to get over there, but the school district would not allow me to get over there. So at my last year at Women's High School, who comes over? Mr. Robert Moore, he transferred over there. And that's where my scholarship continued from Women's High School to Delaware State. In the 70s, I met other artists as well. Uh, other Afro-American artists, which was Mr. Rene Evans, Theodore Wells, the first, James Newton, Loper Sr., and Loper Jr., and James Porter. These people was instrumental in my life. At Delaware State, um, Michael Morris and I joined forces in 1993 to do an art show here in this gallery that we're sitting in now. This is a picture that was in the um, newspaper of Michael and I doing the art show here. This is how, after this art show, is just how points of juxtaposition got started with us. I must say that in knowing Mr. Percy Ricks, who escalated my career, there will be a show with him at the Dell Art Museum, and it's coming up soon. And I'll be a part of that as well in October. The artwork that I do is called Abstracts and my Abstracts and Graphics. Those are my two main elements. Most of my work is done on cold press or hot press watercolor paper. 
I used to use acrylic paints, using knives to paint with. I found that the brushes was, was uh, too harsh for me to use. I get more freedom by using um, matte knives to paint with. In this series I have here, I learned to use my paintings and use paper sculpture as well. This series here is called Six Pieces of the Puzzle and Instructions. This piece was done some time ago. Um, and what I had ended up doing, I put this piece away. And, and I came back to it later in my life because I felt as though that it needed to be taken apart. So with the help of guidance, you know, as far as me looking at this piece of artwork, I started taking it apart. Because what, when it was as a whole, a 36 by 40 piece of artwork, I loved the texture. I loved the colors in it. But to me, it wasn't done. So when I revisit this and I started taking it apart little by little, I like what I saw. Uh, this piece of artwork was done in uh, 1985, which I put it away. And it was introduced, and I, I should say I brought it back out in 2019, where I saw where it could be finalized by taking this whole thing apart. And if you look at these paintings of mine in the background, which was one solid piece, now it's broken down. And if you look over to my right, you will see how it used to look as one piece. But what I ended up doing is taking it apart. And I call it the puzzle pieces because it goes, it doesn't go together like a puzzle, but it goes together in shapes, space, form, and color. That's how this whole thing is joined together. I have other pieces of artwork that I've done the same thing. Um, far as me as a, an artist, as a painter, I, use, use my, I look at myself as a paper sculpture as well because my new paintings that I'm working on, I'm using Fayless construction paper and I'm using a social hornet or a social wasp nest, the paper from there. And that's the key piece right there the hornet nest paper or the wasp paper. I'm, I am finding pieces that look the shape of birds because I'm doing a series called The Birds of a Feather. So I, I get my direction, I get my um, creativity from my father, which he had passed on. But my father was a landscape artist and my mother's father, he was a cabinet maker where he used to build boats, yachts for wealthy people and, my father and mother from down south. But I owe it all to, not only just to my parents, but I owe it all to God himself as well. I get kind of emotional when I talk about my work because without the Lord on my side and the parents that he gave me, I couldn't have got this done. So I thank Delaware State University for allowing the points of just position to come together. Because before, they wouldn't allow us to come together. And I thank Mrs. Jennifer Gunther for allowing the entire points of just position to come together to do this. But every time we go to another um, place to do a show, we're not all allowed because we're not from that air. But this is the first day, this is a blessed day. <clears throat> that we are able to come together. And um, this is uh, very hopeful for me. And I hope we can keep on. And I hope we could also come back and help others, help other students in their art department, as well as the gallery as well, where they want to share their ideas and their thoughts with us. So um, I'm kind of choked up now. You see how my voice is raising up, but um, I do love what I do. I do cherish what I do, and hopefully I could have more shows here at Delaware State or at the Delaware Art Museum or at the Delaware Center for Contemporary Arts, wherever. And I thank you guys for allowing me to come here along with my colleagues, and I do appreciate all of y'all. Thank you.